What's up? Ian from Powerhouse Miniatures. This is the Dwarf Giants Blood Bowl team. So, this is the Dwar Dwarf Giants. Came out a few weeks ago now. Uh, I'm recording these videos at least some point in the future, so I'm not sure when you'll be listening. Uh, I think it was January 2017. <coughs> but yeah, the fourth Plastic Blood Bowl team. So there was two in the new Blood Bowl release, the Humans and the Orcs. Then they released the Skaven Blight Scramblers as a separate box, and these as a separate box. Um, interestingly, these came with a separate head swap. So, the Slayer, and then the Blitzer, wherever he is, there's two of them. Uh, that's the one there, with these little like sickle things. Um, those two guys came with a head swap. And I didn't realise that when I was putting them together. And I did the troll slayers first because they're awesome. Because if you have a look, they're doing some like badass like like beard stand. Look at that. <laughs> awesome. So there you go. But he's like uh, a different head for them. And I used a different. Well, in fact, I've got it here. This is the separate head um, that I used on a a Gago Fellhand miniature. So you can have one with a helmet, one without. <clears throat> and because there's um, two of each sculpt, so there's six line men, but there's obviously like, you know, two of each one, three times over, making six in total, two slayers, two blitzers. There's two runners in this team as well. Um, that actually, they uh, it gives it a nice variation. So you can have the two blitzers and the two slayers, like looking different, which is cool. So you get six balls in the box. I painted up four. Um, it's a bit of a thing to note that the ball itself. Uh, won't sit properly in the base because of the beard and because they're all really low down to the ground for example this lineman and uh, these blitzers you can't actually get the ball in the slot so I don't know what you would do with that maybe magnetize them or something along those lines uh, yeah so like a separate area of the base maybe and if you're really like a stickler for it obviously you could drill like there so there's a bit of a gap um, and then put them in there. But that's the only negative that I found, uh, other than the fact that I forgot <laughs> the other little, uh, you know, I didn't realise at the time the other little head swaps. So I absolutely love this team. The miniatures are awesome, and it, like the, it's just I don't know. <laughs> I can't say enough good stuff about it. Like they look amazing all together as well. The the team there was a Warhammer TV video about their colour scheme. It's so tech green, washed with Agrax Earthshade, Agrax Earthshade, and then highlighted with uh, Temple Guard blue. But that's pretty much it. So I airbrushed the Sotek green. Interestingly, as well, there's no Citadel Air Sotek green. Don't know why, but there's a few of them that aren't like a part of the Citadel Air range. So basically, I put in a load of uh, uh, what do you call it? Thinner, the Vallejo thinner. I've got it here. Oh, I have took the label off. <laughs> yeah, this is the airbrushed thinner from Vallejo, and then uh, basically mixed up my own Sotek green from there. Put the thinner in there so it doesn't like gunk your your uh, airbrush up. So that's pretty much it. So I absolutely love as well that Games Workshop have started to support Blood Bowl again. So there's a lot of tournaments, there's Blitz Mania, there's a Warhammer TV, they've got a Blood Bowl page, everything, and they're starting to interact with the customers again. So that's badass. So like I said in the previous video, I did a video of the uh, Auckland Raiders, the Reichland Reavers, the Skaven Blight Scramblers, and the, this is the Dwarf Giants, obviously. Uh, but in a previous video, I did like a like a mini review on the Skaven Blight Scramblers, and then. Um, it was like a 20 minute video, so you can check that out if you want. But yeah, it's basically they're supporting the thing again, which is awesome. Now, the new release of the rules themselves in the 2016 release of Blood Bowl didn't really change anything. So in White Dwarf, they said, like, if you were to get in a time machine from 1993 or whenever it was uh, and come to modern time, you'd still be able to play the game. Which also means that if you are uh, a new, new to this game, you are going to come up against people who have been playing for 20 years. So in some of the tournaments, like the basic mechanics haven't changed so much that, you know, they're not going to be extremely skilled and uh, and whatnot. And I don't know what the original rules for the dwarves were, but here are the new ones. So on my nice HD camera, if you pause that there, um, you should be able to get all the rules. So I'm going to keep them there. This is obviously the 1 million gold points or GP gold points. I thought it was just gold coins, but there you go. So you got a million... Uh, and then all the values down here, and they've got a few special rules. So there's Dauntless. When a player attempts to block the stronger opponent, roll a d6 and add this player's strength. If the total is greater than the opponent's strength, this player counts as having strength equal to their opponent's when they make the block. The strength of both players is calculated before any defensive or offensive assists are added, but after all, other modifiers. And there's Frenzy as well, which is one of the universal rules, and then of course Tackle, uh, which is one of the universal ones as well. I'm not allowed to use Dodge if they uh, attempt to dodge out of the player's tackle zone. And nor may they use dodge skill if the player throws a block at them and uses the tackle skill. So again, if you want to have a little look, pause it there. But the essential thing is they've all got 
really slow movement, so they've got movement 4, 5 or 6. So the runners have got movement 6, which is pretty cool, and they're agility 3, which is what you want, and then armor value 9, uh, 8, sorry, but 9 for the blocker, 9 for the blitzer, which is big as well, and uh, all of them have got strength 3. So, all together, quite slow moving, it's going to be quite tactical, if you know what you're doing, then they're a good team. Um, really high armor value. There's going to be a few games where you get outpaced, you're probably going to not fare that well against probably Skaven, and there's no mention of any plastic elf teams yet, but obviously if you're playing in some of the, uh, the tournaments, you're going to, going to come up against um, high agility, high, you know, fast moving, high movement allowance teams, any of the elves in Skaven and stuff like that, um, and you may struggle from game to game depending on your look. But there you go, so they're pretty much, um, they've all got thick skull, which is cool, um, I think they all have. Yes, all of them do. Uh, everybody apart from the runners has got a block, stuff like that. So you, you know, you're a good, good defensive team, and then the uh, obviously the strength and armor value is really, really high. So if you're playing a tournament as well, it means there's less chance you're getting injured, and um, much more of a chance that something like your blitzers and your blockers aren't going to get like out for games or um, permanently injured, and they're not cause not really that expensive either. Like the blitz is eighty thousand, uh, troll slayer is ninety thousand. It's not that much. So again, um, loads of different options, loads of different stuff. So, absolutely badass. But yeah, the miniatures themselves are just really, really cool. Um, the like the scale of the stunty human is just perfect. Um, oh, so the only gripe I've got is that the ball doesn't fit in the slot, which I find quite frustrating to be honest. <laughs> um, I know they're small, and it's because they're um, you know uh, close to the ground, which I understand, but still. Um, not good. So, other than that's the only thing, pretty much the only like, only gripe I've got. So the team counter, awesome. It's a pint of beer. <laughs> uh, yeah, and then I just obviously painted the same. Some like smooth blending and nice edge highlights and things like that. Uh, two of them. But yeah, really cool. Little Slayer doing a beard stand. Absolute badass. <laughs> So that's your lot. Uh, these have already sold on eBay, so cheers uh, for that. That was awesome. I don't know why, but money talking about money seems to be like a bit of a, a taboo thing. I don't know why. Um, it seems to be a bit of like a you know you don't talk about it or it's not you know something you don't really uh, bring up a lot. But if you're interested, I charge 150 quid for the team. Um, so if you want your own custom team, let me know. Um, and that's the sort of price I charge for them, including the miniatures, obviously. So uh, I didn't use the transfers, but you get a cool set of transfers in the box as well. Uh, and you you would have, I, mean, I don't know how many you'd get, but you'd get like four or five teams worth of transfers out of the box, which is cool as well. So if you don't want to do, I did obviously freehanded the things around, and I noticed as well that um, because of the curvature of the base, they angled the um, where it says Troll Slayer. You get like transfers that say Lineman, Blitzer, Slayer, stuff like that, and then um, they angled them so that when you put them around the base, it accounts for the curvature, like the lip of the base, which is cool. Because before, I thought that'd be like a bit of an issue that you know it looked funny or wonky or whatever but no so that's it as I said uh, it's like a mini review um, but nothing no, like just awesome <laughs> really impressed so there you go uh, apparently there's a plastic ogre coming out in the next few weeks which should be cool and again depending when you watch it it's probably out by now uh, but yeah plastic clam, pla cl blah, 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 clam pack ogre and then there's a few of the special uh, players just come out for Forge World as well, so I'll be putting a few of those. Um, but that's it. Right, so there's a lot of pictures on Facebook. Facebook.com forward slash Powerhouse Miniatures. My website's powerhouseminiatures.com. Um, my eBay page, which is P-H-M-I-N-I-S, which is P-H Minis. I think there's a link in the description of this video. Uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Cheers for watching.